For many years, a popular method for investors to track their stock holdings was using Excel and the Yahoo Finance website. Specifically, pricing and other financial information for one or more stocks could be downloaded in a CSV worksheet at this address. However, in late 2017, after Verizon's purchase of Yahoo was completed, this feature was removed. Investors using this link to download a specific company's information then received a notice stating that the service was being discontinued. Investors with this URL embedded in their portfolio tracking Excel workbook began receiving this error when they attempted to refresh the price information of their stock holdings. Fortunately, there is an alternative method for tracking stocks in Excel. Go to Microsoft.com and search for Microsoft Power Query for Excel. Download the add-in and follow the instructions to complete installation. Go to Google Finance and search for the stock of your choice. This example uses Alphabet. Copy the URL. In Excel 2013, create a new spreadsheet, select the Power Query tab, then the From Web option. Paste the alphabet address into the URL box and push OK. Wait for the address to be resolved, which could take more than a few seconds, so be patient. On the left are the tables that make up the web page. They offer a range of data, but what we are looking for is the latest price. Select Table 1, drop down the Load menu, and select Load 2 to select Table 1. With the cursor in the cell you want, select Existing Worksheet and push Load. Again, be patient while this table loads. To add more stocks to your worksheet, return to the Google Finance web page. Enter the next ticker and copy the URL. Then, back at the spreadsheet, put the cursor where you want the new data and repeat the Power Query steps. For some reason, subsequent queries offset the data above it. To keep it orderly, block and move your latest insert under the previous data, then delete the empty columns. You'll need to do this for each query you add. To manually update all stock queries in the spreadsheet, go to the Data tab and in the Connections section, either push the Refresh All button or open its menu and select Refresh All. Query refreshing can be a slow process if you have many of them. The Google Finance website periodically experiences heavy loads and will occasionally time out before refreshing is complete. If this happens, try refreshing the individual query. To do this, Highlight it and repeat the previous steps, except select Refresh instead of Refresh All. Queries have a default timeout limit of 100 seconds. A fairly easy way to extend this is to recreate the query, but this time select the Advanced mode. Here, you can extend the timeout limit, in this case to 5 minutes. Complete the steps as before, 
then delete the lines of the first version and realign as discussed. Several methods are available to automatically update the queries. At the Data tab, select Connections and a dialog box will open. Select the query you want the Refresh option set for, then push the Properties button. Check the Enable Background Refresh box if you don't want to be blocked from performing other Excel work before it is complete. Check the Refresh box and select a minutes value if you want a regular update cycle. If you want the queries refreshed at file opening, then check this box. Check Refresh This Connection on Refresh All if this is your preference. OK it and close. Thank you.